Hello everybody, this is Drew Comicat. Now just before we go into this little speed draw here, um, I just want to say that um, yeah, some of the footage, um, I wasn't able to get most of it because it kind of cut out halfway through the drawing. So um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know about that. If it seems like it immediately jumps over to the colors, then um, I do apologize about that. <laughs> I just decided to do that by itself. Not sure what happened to my recording program. Other than that, everything else should be fine. So, um, so I do apologize about the delay in getting this piece sorted. As people know, a couple of weeks ago, or months, um, actually, I think back in January, I did a piece of what happens if Max from Camp Camp was a huntsman in Ruby. So in this um, scenario, it's a bit similar, except this time we're going to be more focusing on Nikki and... Um, Nikki from Camp Camp, and we're going to go into a little bit more discussion, all the speed draws going on, about on what would happen if she became a huntress in Camp Camp, and of course be part of Team Moon. Now, as I mentioned before in Max's speed draw video, that um, Max was going to be part of Team Moon, which consists of himself, Nikki, and Neil, and I have not revealed who the last member of Team Moon is just yet, because I just want to keep that on the down low, because I'm still um, trying to decide which character is going to be the last member. Now, I do have a sketch sort of right for that, but um, we'll put that to the back burner for now and we'll just discuss in more detail. Now, um, Nikki was one I was kind of thinking on for a while. I'm still trying to work out some of the kinks on what I think she would be like if she was in the universe of Ruby. Now, originally I did do another recording before where I I kind of messed around with some ideas, but if you guys have any opinions or anything, or if you, what you think um, Nikki Nikki's story may be in Ruby, just let me know, because I'm because I'm happy to hear about stuff like this. So anyway, getting back to the speed draw. So Nikki, I think, would probably come from the kingdom of Minstrel, or Vacuo. Now, I'm just going to go into that in more detail. Now, the reason I think she will probably go into Minstrel, she comes from Minstrel, is because her mother is, as we can see, a wee bit um, a gold digger. And um, kind of hinted at it since she's a gold digger. And um, I kind of thought it would be interesting because her mother would be from Minstrel. And then, of course, her whole backstory of the Flower Scouts could even be a part of Minstrel because I see the Flower Scouts as being more like, um, you know, more mono-y, sort of like the fashion in Minstrel itself, and I think that would be kind of fascinating. So, um, I've actually also decided that um, maybe her father would be from either Atlas or Vacuo, because I was thinking her Nikki's love for nature, she, that could go into a backdrop as to why she why she wants to be a huntress because she always felt like when under her mom's tutelage that she felt kind of like she had to be a certain way she had to be girly she had to be this she had to be that and um kind of like what her mother expected her to be which um got her a little bit um uh, frustrated especially whenever she had to be sent to a well not flourish guys we won't call it that sort of like an etiquette where she meets up with the Flower Scouts and they kind of ridiculed her for for liking different things than they do. Now, um, originally I was thinking about, um, originally I was going to make her into a Faunus, but I thought that's kind of a wee bit too obvious, so I didn't decide to make her into a Faunus. In this case, what I did do was um, I just made her human. I just made her normal. I'm going to have one of the other two members of Team Moon become a Faunus, probably the last member. And, um, Nikki, how Nikki actually appears in Veil is because um, I'm just wondering what would be the best way to do this. Because originally what I was going to do was I was going to have her father from Atlas instead of Vacuo. And kind of have a thing where, kind of similar to Weiss, but not exactly because because with the relationship with the parents would be kind of swapped. Um, they do seem to have like a strained relationship. And I think Nikki would be more close to her father than her mother, which is, which we kind of initially didn't see. I know we haven't really seen Nikki's father in Camp Camp just yet, but um, well, who knows, maybe that will come around sometime in the future. So the other thing that um, I was discussing before 
is that um, is that she probably decided to go to Vail because she heard about the wildlife and everything there because she probably seen what it was like in Vacuo and then Minstrel and then she kind of wanted to see what it was going to be like in Vale. So she kind of wants to see like a bit of the world, a little bit like Yang. She wants to travel about the place and see the wildlife and see everything basically. She's kind of a free spirit because in the show we see her as being hyperactive and I think that kind of curiosity would, um, would play a big role in why she wants to become a huntress. Now, um, weaponry... I'll be honest, I wasn't really too sure what weapons to give her because of her semblance. I'm going to discuss her semblance more before going into weapons. Now, her semblance, as some people might notice in the notes I left there in the speed paint, that it was something called Grim Soul. I just want to discuss that in more detail because me and my brother were actually talking it over. Now, what Grim Soul is, is that I've decided that basically it allows Nikki to take on the characteristics and the abilities of the Grim she takes out. Like for example, with Beowulf, she'll probably gain its agility, its, its sharp claws, its ferociousness, and kind of strengthens her up a bit, whereas something like, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the bear. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, the, the name of the bear is an Ursa. Okay, so she would gain the ability, like the strength of an Ursa, and use that to her advantage. She's been more like the muscle of the team, which brings out the brute strength. And um, whereas Max, in the last video, I'm trying to remember, no, I'm trying to remember this all off the fly, where in um, Max's I'd say he would have a little bit more experience, and I think he, she may be a little bit more naive, but um, I get the feeling she kind of. She kind of is aware of the situation a little bit more than she's letting on. <laughs> she doesn't really worry too much about the about the semantics or anything a little bit like Neil would, where she would just kind of roll with it. A little bit similar to Max says they would just roll with the situation and, of course, like adjust to the situation they're having. Now, um, weapon-wise, like I was saying before, it was a little bit tricky to actually think about what kind of weapon Nikki can possess because I'll be honest I was originally thinking about a shotgun baseball bat at first but then after a while I was like I'm not sure would she really need a weapon because of her semblance I'm not really too sure I'll tell you what guys I'll tell you what I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I want you guys to leave a comment or even send me a little email on what weapon you guys think would best suit Nikki because you might notice in the in the speed draw there that I've actually left a little bit of writing there saying like what kind of weapon like I was thinking originally about her bloods and they were gonna have dust infused into them with the bracelets but I'm not sure I'm not sure what to do for the weapon wise so I'm wondering if you guys like to leave a little comment on what type of weapon Nikki would suit Nikki best I was thinking like something a bit similar to Nora, like, I don't know, it's a, like that's where the whole bat thing came from originally, but I think because of resemblance, I think more hand-to-hand -hand combat, but I don't really want to rip off from Yang either, but, but let me know guys, just leave me a little comment just to see um, what's going on or what weapon you guys think would best suit Nikki, like even send me like little references or anything and I can have a look at that and then I could probably think it over and even see about redrawing her maybe in future with the weapons in tow. So we'll see how that works out. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I kind of wish I did go more into more detail about that. I get the feeling I kind of I spent most of the time talking about the at the beginning of the video. But if you guys want to see more about this, um, just leave a little like, just even subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. You have a lovely evening, guys. A lovely